Hey, what's up? What's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight I'm going to be talking about the pink sauce lady saying that she is going broke and how Kyrie Irving has stepped in and helped with a whopping close to $25,000 donation. Now, if you guys don't know who she is, she went viral in 2022 with this pink sauce and it caused a big scandal and a lot of controversy. Now, I've never talked about it on my channel and there was loads and loads and loads and loads of TikToks to go through. But instead of doing that, I'm going to let a TikToker by the name of Mo tell you guys the basically breakdown of who she is, what happened and where she is now. And then we're going to get more into this story. Now, the TikToker, it's M.O. And then it's like a whole bunch of underscores to get to his channel. But here he goes one of the top five craziest stories on this platform. I mean, this shit took off out of nowhere, bro. When it first started out, everybody wanted to try this shit. I seen videos on my For You page every two scrolls. Then she started selling this shit and it sold out damn near instantly. I mean, it was looking like one of the first business success stories that came from TikTok. And then when people started getting their orders, that shit came in moldy. It came in different color than the other ones. The packages were exploding or some shit. I don't know. Then this shit had to get taken. Pink sauce lore gotta be one of the top five crazy. This shit had to get taken down because everybody found out it wasn't FDA approved. After she was down, she had a major comeback story though. A big company signed her idea on and then she was making bread again. It was looking like another success story. This shit went from being clowned on to being sold at Walmart. That's crazy, fam. But it just seems like she cannot catch a W anywhere. It turns out the company that signed her on scammed the shit out of her and isn't paying her what she's owed. She's claiming that she has zero dollars in her bank account, not even enough to buy her kids food. Had to start a whole GoFundMe with the goal of 100K. What the hell? I mean it when I say she needs a W bad. She keep on getting hold left and right. All right. So he basically broke down this situation. And basically, like he said, it was this phenomenon that was on all of social media. She was on TikTok and her videos were going viral on YouTube, on Instagram, all over social media. And everybody was talking about this pink sauce that she had. Now, the biggest um, part of the controversy and how it started was she was basically making this in her own home. And she was basically an entrepreneur trying to get some type of hustle off the ground. Now, the problem was every time she made a batch of this homemade sauce, it never looked the same. It was never the same consistency. And when she shipped it out to people, by the time it got to them, it was like the guy previously said, it was oftentimes expired, not in good condition. The bottles would burst and things like that. Now, this is a sauce that contained like milk and like fruit and other ingredients that she created to make the she like used fruit for the coloring um she used milk and other dairy products for this so another issue that they had when people got this was number one it didn't tell the consumer how they should refrigerate it now you know whenever you get a condiment or any type of food product it tells you like expiration date it tells you if you open it, if you should refrigerate it or not, or how it should be stored and things like that. This product, it didn't tell you how it should be stored. It didn't tell you proper calories, nutrition value. It didn't tell you anything that was like proper. And it was kind of understandable at first because she was an entrepreneur. She was just getting started and she was starting from somewhere. Now, there was a lot of complaints of people saying like, oh, this made me sick or oh, this, this, this and that. And it it was looking not so good for her. So there was a lot of people who were trying to cancel her and trying to make her disappear and not be a thing. She even basically went on live and people was asking her questions and they were like, you know, is your sauce even FDA approved? And then she was like, FDA, like my stuff is not medical grade. Like, what are you talking about? Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. And everybody at that point was like, okay, the F in FDA stands, the F is for food. And then the A it's, is and, and then drug is D. So people were like, huh, you didn't know that? So, you know, she really had it bad at one point. 
Well, a company by the name of Dave's Gourmet, which they normally make like hot sauces and things like that, they decided to team up with her and they were trying to make this basically bad situation good and turn it around. So they had got this uh, sauce and made a partnership with her so that they can sell this sauce in stores in Walmart and things like that. And it was looking like it was a, a go again for her. Well, recently, she recently basically revealed that she doesn't have money she's going broke and all of the things of the things and she was saying how she was not going to let them hold her down and things like that let me show you this video that she posted and then i'm going to read to you guys her gofundme page So one thing they can't do is steal my legacy away from me. One thing they can't do is be me. No more beige sauce. Pink sauce, real quality pink sauce. They failed me, I can't fail myself. And I'm still gonna win. Yeah, I've been gone for a minute. But I'll be real bad. I'll be back soon. All right. So now let's go to her GoFundMe account. So her GoFundMe account, she basically said that she needs to get justice for herself. And she claimed that she had not been paid. So her name is Veronica Shaw. And this is what she said in her thing in completeness. So she says, Hi, my name is Veronica Shaw. I am the founder of the Pink Sauce LLC, um, one of the most viral sauce sensations of 2022. As a young entrepreneur with big dreams, I followed my intuition and went forth towards my dreams to create something new. I made a few mistakes on the way, which led me to trust a company that is trying to take everything away from me. They lied to me. They are not paying me and are not being transparent about records. I have tried on multiple occasions to try and come to one accord with them, but they refuse to reimburse me for marketing expenses that I spent my own funds towards. I have been silenced and financially sabotaged. I am a single mom and I do everything for my kids right now. I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food on my own. My mom is on disability and has given us $20 just to get by on a daily basis. School is in a few days um, away and I haven't been able to get my kids school clothes or anything. I'm currently facing an eviction that has gone into default. The sheriffs can come to my door any day now. I need legal help. They're refusing to pay me royalties that is owed to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't give up. I need help. So that is what she said basically in its entirety on her GoFundMe account. And for a long time, for I want to say like almost a week, she had little to no traction on this GoFundMe account. She had raised like um, like it took a few days for her to raise like a hundred, then like another few days for it to go up to like a thousand. And then Kyrie Irvin basically came and saved the day. So as you see here, there are several different uh, donors that create uh, basically donated to her. But one of the um, top donors was Kyrie Irvin. So let me go to another uh, screen so you can see it in full. So as you see here on her GoFundMe on to the right and you look through her donations, it says Sierra Wilson gave 25, Anonymous 5, Anonymous 5. And then you see Kyrie Irvin gave $24,240 to her. OK, now. Once the company got wind that she was basically stating that she was broke, she didn't have no money, and that they did not pay her, they responded with their own um, statement and saying that they have given her over $120,000 to date. Now, this is what they said. Dave's Gourmet has adhered to the terms of the agreement with Ms. Shaw, 
We disagree with Ms. Shaw's allegations. The statement reads, Dave Gourmet has paid Chef Pai over $120,000 to date, and it continues to make all payments as due and on time based upon the terms of the contract. Okay? And it goes on to say, we've offered to reimburse Ms. Shaw for her lawyer's time to go over the terms of the agreement and how it relates to the payments that were made to Ms. Shaw. And it continued, she indicated that she's open to an amicable resolution um, of the dispute and the parties are in discussions. So basically they're like, listen, she has some lawyers look over this. We are even willing to pay for the lawyer's time because we had an agreement. We had a contract and we have been given her money. So I feel like if they have a contract, you can't get upset that you signed this contract and you're not getting paid a, a million dollars right away. Like a lot of these companies and a lot of the ways these things work is a lot of these payouts go out quarterly. Like I, I watch shark tank, um, many episodes of shark tank and many companies that are like in retail stores and they have like all of these needing for funding. And a lot of their stories had to do with the quarterly payouts. And sometimes Certain items are seasonal. So, I mean, a food item, you think you would want it all year round. However, there are certain times where certain items might be more popular during certain times of the season. You know, even though you think people, you know, eat ranch or they eat like these sauces on salads and it could be used on a variety of things. A lot of the consumer buying, especially with new products, comes in waves, gift giving, you know, around holiday times, birthdays or special events. And it's not clear that, you know, what she's expecting or if this is something where it's like, okay, you got paid for this quarter and then you have to wait until the next term. It sounds like something her lawyers are going over and... um. I wish her all the best. A lot of people clowned her for trying to be an entrepreneur, starting from the ground up. But I always felt like it was commendable for her to start from nothing and try to reach the level that she did. Um, I hope that she is not one to self-sabotage and just go and take a attention sinking to the max if it's not the case that they are not taking advantage of her. Because, again, you have contracts and you have um, things that you agreed on. So if she agreed to such terms that would result in her getting $120,000, they paid her that $120,000. If that is true, as they are stating, then it sounds a little self-sabotaging to me. Um, but, you know, who am I? It's not my baby. She birthed this baby and it's hers. I want to know what you guys think about it. Um, one thing that I did realize, though, even though um, this is now in stores and these are now processed with like a manufacturer and they're not made from her home, it seems like even in the stores, the store bought items are not the same in coloring. So I was looking on TikTok. And one young lady was pointing out how she went to Walmart and how these um, items were basically discolored. Even in Walmart, even in the proper packaging and everything like that. So I don't know if that is part of some of the reason why some people are deterred from it. I've seen other videos where it stated that these items were on the clearance rack. Um, I've seen several people pointing out how they were kind of shelved. They were like trying to clearance them out. And that would indicate that it did not sell as expected. But let's look at this video and then that is the it. bottle in the back, a completely different color. All right. So let me bring that back. Why was the bottle in the back a completely different color than everything else? And then these bitches busted out the seam. Why was the bottle in the back? 
All right, so as you see, this this bottle is different colors than the other ones, but when she pans around the whole display, there's several of them that are different colors than the other. And honestly, when I go and I'm shopping for the stuff, if I see a brand or product that's not in unison and it's different colors, I'm gonna think that it's not good for me. A completely different color than everything else. So as else. she pans around, you see the one, the first row is like, uh, not you know like a like a beige color. Then it's a pink color. Then it's like a like a another beige color. And it's like even on this display in the store, there's a bunch of different colors. And as a consumer, I would think like, well, which one is the right one to get? Because you know it that would freak me out. But all in all, I wish her no. success. Um, again, I think that her trying to be an entrepreneur setting out on this idea of this pink sauce um, was an amazing idea. I thought that it was so cool that a company would come in and team up with her. I think the appeal of the pink sauce was the fact that it was the color pink when she was making it. Now that it's bottled up in stores, it's not even really the color pink no more. And I think that's kind of what the main appeal is to the sauce I don't know um, if they could do some type of rebranding. You have all kind of different brands that always change things up. Like you'll see like um, cereal brands who have like, you know, oops, all berries or something. And they'll change it when it's like um, St. Patrick's Day and it'll be all green or, you know, they change the color and hopefully they can get the coloring and change the formula just a little bit to where they can get the 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 formula closer to the actual color pink and i think that'll be a w for her and the company it's off-putting to see her online with this vibrant pink color sauce and then you go to the stores and you see this beige colored sauce and it's like what is this you know but I wish her all the best nonetheless. You guys let me know what you guys think about it. A lot of people were praying on her downfall. I actually am not one of those people. I wish her success. I think it's dope. I think it was a dope concept. I just wish that she can get the execution part out and she could be a major success story because if she becomes a success story, that is a very, very good um, image to portray to young girls about how to have an idea and bring it to all the way into a successful fruition. Even when people laugh at you, talk about you and count you out. You know, I was really hoping that she would have that total success story. You know what I'm saying? Cause that would definitely be a good look for little girls and something that would inspire more people to be entrepreneurs and just really go through it and all of that. So that's my take on that. You guys let me know what you think about it. Have you guys tasted the pink sauce? What does it taste like? I haven't tasted it yet, um, but I've seen people say that it tastes like ranch. Um, so like a spicy ranch or something like that. But you guys let me know what you think down below. Talk to you guys on the next video.